Hello everyone. Welcome to my podcast The Hidden Power. I'm your host Dr. Susan Karuth. The topic for today is why should someone hire you? Yes. Today many of you are looking for a job and interview skill is one of the major uh, skills that you need to possess. Um when you think about interview skill the a million dollar question is uh why should someone hire me have you ever asked this question to yourself if you are able to answer this question it will give you the right mileage in any interview once you are confident in yourself and the position you have been interviewed for you have a better chance of getting selected now let us understand some key factors in creating um, impact in your interview uh most of the time i have seen many of the candidates are not clear about how to attend an interview with impact there are common questions that are asked and different uh, companies will have different styles of interview but here we are just um, giving um, you know attention attention to certain uh, general facts or overall uh, an interview pattern okay just for example when you are looking at a mirror and you ask yourself okay i'm going for an interview a particular job first of all you should be clear about what you are um, applying for or what kind of a job that you want to do now most of the people show a kind of a i'm desperate for job that will not help you and you know when you are present yourself any job is okay for me i need some job you know that kind of approach is not good in any interview you should be first very clear about what kind of job you want to do and what you are looking for and that should be first clear to you so look at the um, you know like the mirror and ask yourself okay why should a particular company hire me what is there uh in me something which other candidates are not having or uh why should some company prefer me over the other candidates and this is a really important question you should be asking before you go for any interviews let's just look at some common um questions as asked in the interview and you uh, you know the normally people how they respond to these questions so for example uh, there will be a question like okay tell me why did you apply for this job you know they may ask and most of people say uh, you know your company is so prestigious organization i would really wanted to work for your firm blah 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 they say or you know like um, i don't have a job right now i really need a job so i found it it's matching my exp- expertise or my experience so i applied for it or um you know uh, this is a new area i really wanted to experience uh, in this area so i applied for it or or this is a job i was desperately looking for blah 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 so these are the things that you generally say i don't think this is going to help you much but now next one is like you know the company can ask you what did you why you wanted to leave the previous organization or you wanted to change your job and most of the people say uh, yeah uh, the company is really good but i can't see any growth opportunity for me anymore or you know in my current company so i thought of making a change or you know like Uh, my nature is like i always look for better opportunities when the better opportunities comes and this is i feel it is a better opportunity and these are the things that you normally say then somebody will then the company will ask you uh, uh, as a final question okay the interview is all good okay we did um you did pretty good and let me ask you something uh what do you think that you know we should hire you uh why should we hire you they ask <clears throat> then uh <laughs> normally the candidates say uh, you know what i'm I, you can say that i'm really experienced i'm really hard working i'm motivated and you know any responsibility not just this any additional response i'm always enthusiastic i have a um a mind to learn and you know like all those kind of things so so uh, these kind of answers you know normally the candidates say or then um you, you know uh, i can contribute a lot to this organization the growth of this from the growth of this organization because i have a, a you know a lot of experience and expertise and that can be useful for the company 
and uh, do you think that uh, it's going to give you a mileage over the other candidates um, i don't think so of course not so you should be really prepared for a uh, interview okay now how to be prepared for any job interview okay here i'm going to give you uh, uh, around five key areas okay that you need to be careful about and first and foremost as i told you you just need to ask yourself you know why do i need this job and that or um what is the area that i want to work you should be very clear about that then the next one is you should be clear about uh you should understand the company so you should understand yourself your requirement and the company's requirement is the one thing the first thing and uh, um uh you need to have the complete understanding yourself your skills your abilities your expertise and you know what you want your passion everything your goals and everything at the same time you need to understand the company its vision its mission its core values its behavior its culture and uh, you know what they do and where they stand what they are uh, they they wanted to why they um, or in which area they wanted to focus on how their growth prospects are you know everything and everything and everything and then the second one is you need to understand the position you have applied for you need to clear understanding about the position that you have applied for that you know what is the core uh, key result areas they are expecting at what are the kpis they are look for will i be able to manage that or when you are looking at even the com- understanding of the company and the roles you can understand that you know your expertise can be beneficial for another area of the company that also you can represent you can you can really uh, explain uh to the company during your interview and the next one is a storytelling you need to learn how to tell uh, yourself in a story story uh, telling form so for example sometimes the company ask you know can you just tell me what are your key strengths are and they can say that my key strengths i can uh, tell you because in the last time when we had a problem at the company ha, um, you know like one of the key member of the team um, you know like resigned in a particular uh, project uh, when he was doing a very key project for us and uh, we all afra- you know uh, were in a uh, real problem that you know the the company may not be uh submitting the project um uh, on the deadline and uh, uh, the unfortunately the company had the agreement was having a, a fine or if you are uh, you know like missing the deadline it was millions of uh, dollars or dirhams or whatever and then it I had, the responsibility was came to my shoulder i was the person who was leading the team then i did this 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 x y z i brought the meeting and divided the team into so many you know different different areas and give them responsibilities individual accountabilities everything and everything and everything and then i told them um you know what uh, you know i have given them incentives or maybe you know some kind of overtime because compared to the fine this was much much uh, you know we could handle better and everything everything you can just tell in a storytelling manner and say that and uh, we managed to submit before the deadline so we met the deadline and we saved the company this much of um, amount and uh, you can say when by by telling the story you're selling how you are leadership position when the things are go wrong how you uh, you can control the situation patient the work uh, calculator risk taking and you know like um, how uh, balanced you are uh, you know all in your team cohesion uh, team productivity motivation motivating the team members and all these kind of things are just represented or just presented in front of the interviewers in a storytelling manner the next one is your self rep- self presentation self presentation is a key your standing posture your sitting posture your personality your dress your communication your non verbal cues your body language your hand gestures and even the cv that you present in front of the people and uh, that it is always i would say a cv i will talk in a de- in detail about cvs later but cv i always say it is one page cv is much better which gives uh, the complete detail about you there's a snapshot in a very uh, brief profile of you but it should be having the right impact and your self introduction i would say always the inter- when you go for interview inter- introduce yourself first 
first and you know say so that that shows your confidence in that and that way your self presentation is very very important in an interview also the gaining experience and confidence your experience in any interview i i normally tell people that you know like when even if you are working in an organization just apply for job i'm not saying that you have to leave this job and join that organization uh, you know you should go and get experience in interview so that you can always make sure that what the market is required what is your value in the market are you a material we are all here for sale when we are working okay do i have a market value i am here for sale is there any buyers for me my ca- my caliber my talent my abilities my skills <clears throat> is there anyone wants it is it according to the uh, current situation am i upgraded myself so this will help you to always improve yourself upgrade yourself and always make sure that you have a value in the marketplace and then you are a material which is on de- uh, which is in demand okay this is what we all supposed to be doing so when a person maintaining himself in that way you will definitely make an impact in any job interviews and this is how you need to be kept on preparing yourself always make sure that you you are a person or a material or a, uh, you know you, your value is really in the uh, high level in the market and this is how you need to manage yourself your interviews and things like that i hope this helps you in preparing yourself for any job interviews that you're going to face in future and also i'll tell you listen to our hidden power podcast because it will definitely make your personal transformation easy and flawless and uh, i would say empower yourself every day by listening to such kind of not only my podcast and every such good messages in your life this is your host dr sisin kurid i will see you in the next episode until then live well and laugh more may god bless us all